Hey what is up everyone this is Abhishek and welcome back to another exciting video in today's video we are going to take a look how to create this typography opener animation in after effects If you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to do that and without any further ado let's get started All right now I am in After Effects and let's create a new composition let's call this animation and make sure the width and height are 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 10 seconds click ok and now let's create another composition let's call this image and make sure the width and height are same and rest of things will remain the same just click on ok now let's import our image first so let me just quickly import the image in After Effects like this and you can drag the image into the image composition just scale it down a little bit and you can position it so that it fits into the composition something like this and let's go back to the animation composition now just simply drag the image composition over here something like this and let's just create some text over it so let's select our text tool and you can type whatever text you want so i'm going to type opener and let's just quickly change its color to white and just simply align it in the center of this composition like this and let's just quickly animate it so in order to animate it we are going to use the tracking property and let's just add keyframes for the tracking amount so in the beginning we want our tracking amount to be really high something around 300 and let's just quickly scale the text so we can use the character panel so that our text looks little bit bigger something like this and let's just quickly animate the tracking property so let's go to animator and over here we have added a keyframe so in the beginning we want our tracking amount to be 300 and after like one second we want it to be something around 22 maybe so yeah this looks good so just select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them then you can change the graph editor to look something like this and if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation so you can go with this animation or what you can do is you can simply do not easy ease these keyframes then all you have to do is just simply press down the page down key a couple of times and then click on this button to add a keyframe just keep on doing that you do not have to be precise just randomly press the page down key and then add the keyframe so select all the keyframes then go to toggle hold keyframes and after that select all these keyframes then while holding down the alt or option key on mac just simply click and drag all these keyframes so that these are string something like this and if i play back here you can see that we have this type of animation so let's just animate the scale of this text quickly and let's add a keyframe for scale then you can again press u on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes so in the beginning we want our text to be really big something like this and we can maybe select these keyframes press f9 to easy them then you can change the graph editor something like this or maybe you can make it a little bit more dramatic something kind of like this maybe move the keyframe further apart so that we have this type of animation now let's add another text so we are going to type typography and for this one we can change the font to semi bold and let's just scale it down a little bit and let's just quickly position all the text layers so we can maybe move it around here and let's just scale it down a little bit something like this and in the same way we are going to add the tracking animation to this one also so let's just quickly enable the tracking so that it matches the width of this opener text kind of like this and let's create a rectangle so let's just quickly draw some random shape something like this and let me just align it in the center of this composition and also move its anchor point in the center so let's select our text and also do the same with it something like this now we can disable the opener text right now 
and make sure the shape layer is below the typography text and let's just apply quickly fill effect to it and we can change the width of the rectangle so let's change it to be something like this maybe a little bit smaller so this looks good for now now let's quickly animate the scale of the rectangle so in the beginning we want the x value to be 0 so let's just select the keyframes then again press f9 then go to the graph editor and for this one we can maybe go with this type of curve just increase the spacing between them so that we have this kind of animation now let's just quickly do one more thing and animate the tracking amount so you can search for tracking amount and let's add a keyframe for that and in the beginning we want it to be really high so we can go with maybe 150 and select the keyframes press f9 then go to the graph editor and let's play around with this so this looks good for now and let's just quickly trim this layer something like this and we can maybe duplicate the rectangle by pressing ctrl d on the keyboard and let's just place it on top of the typography text and set the track mat to alpha mat and in case you are not able to see the track mat option you can simply click over here and it will enable the track mat option so if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation maybe we can open up the graph editor of these keyframes and let's just quickly change the position something like this and let's select these keyframes and let's just change the graph editor for it so we have created this type of animation and now let's just quickly enable the opener text so let's select all these layers and we can maybe move them down so select all these and move down the opener text so let's just place them below the opener text and I'm using the arrow keys shift plus arrow keys and let's just align it over here and maybe we can play around with the few properties so let's just quickly lower down its width and we can lower down the tracking amount also so for this one also let's go with 100 and if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation now let's just quickly select all of these three layers and we can parent it to the opener text so that we have this type of animation and we can maybe play around with the timing of these layers so just move them further apart something like this uh, maybe we can increase the scale to back to what it was earlier so let's go with 100 and also 100 and we can maybe change the tracking amount also so let's just increase it quite a bit something like this and if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation maybe we can move these layers a little bit further apart something like this so let's just quickly add the animation to the image so we can go inside the image layer then press s for scale and over here we can begin from 80 or something like that just select the keyframes and set change the graph to look something like this so that we want the image to be really fast in the beginning and later on it will slow down so that we have this kind of animation maybe you can move around the anchor point so that it moves to a specified location so that it zooms in over this anchor point and if i go back here you can see that we have this kind of animation maybe we can select both of these layers and move them a little bit below something like this and let's just quickly change the color of this text layer and we can make it white and change the color of the shape layer to something like pink or something else uh, kind of like this and if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation so let's just quickly add a solid layer so i'm using this script you can download it from the link in the description so let's just apply 
gradient ramp to it so search for gradient ramp and we can choose whatever color we want so for this example let's go with this kind of pink and purple shade and set the blending mode to overlay and we can lower down its opacity by pressing T then lower down the value to something like 40 so let's just create the rectangle so in order to do that select the rectangle tool and just simply double click on it and here you can see that it has created the rectangle layer so we do not need any kind of fill to it just simply increase the stroke width so let's just scale it down and we can scale it down so that it matches the aspect ratio of our composition something like this and now let's just quickly animate it by adding trim path to it so let's go to add then click on trim path and over here we, in the beginning we want the value to be zero so somewhere around here let's change it to 100 and you can change the graph editor to something like this then if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation maybe we can move it further apart something like this or a little bit more so you can play around with the timing of all these layers so let's just quickly change the timing for all the layers something like this and if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice typography opener text over here and there is one small problem we can see that the text is still visible uh, beyond this stroke line so we can fix that by simply duplicating this shape layer and over here we can zero these zero down the stroke and we can enable the fill of this layer just simply place it on top of this opener text and you can change the track mat to alpha mat and also make sure that the trim path animation is not happening so we can simply delete the keyframes and here you can see that our text is not visible beyond this stroke line and if i play back here you can see that the text is appearing and everything looks fine there is one more thing which you can do to achieve some really nice blurry effect so just quickly enable the motion blur for all these layers and if you click on over this button and here you can see that we have this kind of glitchy kind of text reveal so if i play back here you can see that now the animation looks much smoother so this is how you guys can create these type of animations and you can maybe play around with these colors to get some other look so maybe let's go with this one and this looks really nice so this is how you guys can create some really nice typography openers in after effects like this and you can use them in slideshow templates or wherever you want so that's it for this tutorial this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one